Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the basic principles of ECG. ECG is a method for registering electric activity of the heart. And uh, during the interpretation of the ECG, the first thing that you should pay attention on is ECG speed. Usually, ECG paper had a speed of 25 millis millimeter per second. It means that one small box represents 40 milliseconds and one large box, that is five small box, includes uh, 200 milliseconds. Yes, uh, as far as voltage as mentioned, one millimeter stands for 0.1 millivolt and 5 millivolt stands for 0.5 millivolt okay if you have a speed of 50 milliseconds in this case one large box represent uh, 100 milliseconds and one uh, small box represents uh, 20 milliseconds okay uh, ECG represents electric activity of the heart and every single uh, event in the electric cardiac cycle have its, uh, its own effect on the ECG. Okay, as, is, as you know, electric impulse generated is generated in the sinus node and then spreads uh, around the atrium goes to the AV atrioventricular nodes uh, there will be some uh, delay after this one it will go to the his putkinia system ECG normally consists of several waves and segments first P wave P wave represent atrial depolarization and normally it should be less than 0.12 second and less than uh, 2.5 millimeter in height okay and PR interval represents atrial depolarization and AV, con AV node conduction normally it should be 0.12 and 0.20 seconds uh, during the assessment of P wave, you should pay attention not only the duration but also on the amplitude and morphology. Uh, if you have PI interval uh, more than 0 0.12, 20, it can be a sign of the AV block, some kind of AV block. If it is less than 0 0.12, it can be a sign of WPW syndrome. QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. Normally, it, it, uh, the duration of QRS complex should be less than 0.10 seconds or 2.5 small boxes. QRS it is the first negative deflection of QRS complex. If you don't, uh, the R wave is the first positive deflection of the QRS complex. Yes, uh, C wave it is the second negative deflection of the QRS complex, and R with apostrophe is the second positive deflection. If you have, uh, if you have. Uh, amplitude of any of waves less than 5 millimeters uh, these waves will be represented by small letters and during the assessment of the QRS complex it is very important to recognize all patterns of QRS complex, complex morphology QRS complex in all leads the first QRS complex on this slide is called as small Q, large R and small S complexes. Okay. Uh, 
this one represents r s complex in this case r amplitude is high more than 5 millimeters and s amplitude is low less than 5 millimeters this one represents small r s complex in this case both r s complexes are less than 5 millimeters this is a pathological q wave in this case you don't have r wave at all you don't have s wave at all so that only q wave rep, uh, can be found during the assessment of qrs complex this one represents small q large r complex yes next one it is a large q large r complexes in this case q wave is more than five millimeters and you can see that height of the q wave is more than 25 percent of the r complexes it is a pathological q wave this one represents qs complexes in this case you don't have any positive deflection in qrs complex so that you don't have r wave at all you have only q and s complex uh, q and s waves this morphology of qrs complex is called as large q and as s complex in this case you can have uh, you are having only small r large s complexes yes it is typically can be found in the right precordial uh, leads this is uh, a small r small s and a large r with apostrophe complexes yes it is typically seen in case of bandle branch blocks during the assessment of qrs complex it is very important to uh, to uh, look at the progression of r waves in the precordial leads normally the least amplitude of r wave should be in the v1 then normally uh, the height of the uh, R wave should increase in V2, V4, V5 and the maximum should be in V5 or V6. If you don't have any progression in the height of R wave, it can represent some uh, scars in the myocardium. Uh, next the one of the most important points that you should pay attention during the ECG interpretation it is ST segment ST segment starts from the uh, uh, from the uh, end of the QRS complex and goes up to the end of T waves okay normally uh, ST segment should be isoelectric isoelectric means that it should be located on the same level as the TP segment okay on this uh, ECG you can see this is a T wave this is a P wave this is a TP segment and this one is ST segment and normally ST segment should be located on the same level or as TP segment so that we can consider this ECG this uh, ST segment as isoelectric but in uh, case of ischemia myocardial infarction you can detect elevation or depression of ST segment for example in this case you can detect 2 mm elevation of the ST segment as compared to the TP segment yes this one and uh, in this case you can detect depression of the st segment as compared with the tp segment okay we uh, draw imaginary line uh, uh, on the same level as tp segment and we draw the line uh, of the st segment 
you can detect there is a almost 3.5 millimeter depression of the ST signal. During the assessment of ST segment, you should pay attention on the G J point and the first 80 milliseconds of the ST segment. J point it is a uh, connection between the S the end of the S segment and the beginning of ST segment, uh, and uh, the inter relationship between uh, of uh, these uh, major points can give you some hints on the diagnosis <coughs> for example in the first uh, in the first uh, graph you can see that ST segment is located on the isolane ST segment is isoelectric because it is located on the same level as the TP segment in the second graph you can see that there is a depression of ST segment and J point and ST, the 30 80 millisecond of the uh, ST segment is located 2 mm below the level of TP segment below the isolate. In this case both G point and both 80 milliseconds of the uh, ST segment uh, is located on the same level Hence, we define this kind, this shape of ST depression as horizontal. Horizontal ST depression can be seen in ischemia. The next pattern of ST depression is downsloping that is usually seen in case of ischemic heart disease. In this case, red line represents isoline and you see that uh, the first 80 milliseconds of the ST segment is below the J point. Yes, uh, this is down sloping ST depression, also can be seen in case of ischemia. The first graph represents ST elevation, is, that is typically seen in case of acute myocardial infarction. Okay, there is a huge uh, elevation of ST segment and the shape of this ST segment is like a tomb okay next uh, figure represents typical pattern of the Brugada syndrome okay and the last one represents uh, benign ST elevation in case of benign uh, your repolarization syndrome you can see this J point. Please pay attention on the the shape of the ST segment. In this case, ST segment is concave. Yes, like fish hook. Okay, it is a benign pattern of ST elevation. The next point that should, we should analyze during our ECG interpretation is T wave. We should pay attention on the symmetry on the shape of the and on the morphology of T wave. You know that T wave represents ventricular repolarization. Normally T wave is asymmetrical. It means that it has slow upstroke and rapid downstroke uh, downstroke. And usually the axis of the T wave is concordant with QRS complex. It means if you have predominantly positive QRS complex, usually you can find uh, positive T waves. Okay. Normally, uh, normal T waves you can uh, see you can see on this graph. The next graph, the second graph, uh, demonstrates the winter T wave that can be seen in case of myocardial infarction. In case of the winter T wave, uh, there will be up sloping ST depression that will uh, will uh, then go to the uh, hyperacute T wave. The next graph represents 
by phase active wave. Yes, in this case, it is uh, it consists of two phase. First is negative, second is positive. The last graph represents negative T wave. Yes, in this case, quasi complex is predominantly positive, and normally T wave also should be positive. But in this case, it is you can see negative T wave. Okay, the next uh, slide, the next figure represents hyperacute peak T waves. In this case, you see that uh, it is symmetrical, but normally you usually see asymmetrical T waves. Hyperacute T waves with increased height can be a early sign of myocardial infarction. Next one, also biphasic T wave. In this case, the first half of the T wave is positive, the second half of the T wave is negative. And the last graph represents flattened T wave with decreasing amplitude. Last point that you should measure during the ECG interpretation is QT interval. QT in QT interval includes QRS complex and ST segment okay so uh, it means that it begins from the Q wave and ends with T wave normally it should be less than QT divided in squared root uh, between the uh, R R interval thank you very much for your attention